Hello and a very warm welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. The topic for today is mathematical statistic. That means in brief we are going to solve those questions that have appeared in the previous year question paper of this particular paper. In case if you want to get hold of our pre-recorded lecture series or the complete solution set then you can call us on this number and for further details you can check in our official website. So let us start with question number 18 and we will first do question number A that is part A. So let us write the function first. The function is fx comma y is equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3xy. So let us get the first order derivative. This is equal to 3x square plus 3y and the Differentiation of the function with respect to y will be 3y square plus 3x. Now, we will get the direct second order partial. So, it will be 6x and fyy will be 6y and fxy that means the second order partial derivatives will be this. So, for the critical points we have or we are going to set fx and fy equal to 0 so this is for critical points we are doing so we have fx is equal to 0 and fy is equal to 0 this implies that x square plus y is equal to 0 and y square plus x is equal to 0 so we have y is equal to minus x square this implies that x4 x to the power 4 plus x is equal to 0 so this implies that x 1 plus x cube is equal to 0 or the value of x becomes 0 and minus 1 so these are the critical point now at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and at x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1. So the critical points become 0, comma 0 and minus 1, comma minus 1. So f x x f y into f y y minus f x y whole square will be equal to 36 x y minus 9. This is equal to minus 4 x y minus 1. Now at 0, comma 0 f x x f y y minus f x y whole square will be equal to minus 9 which is less than 0 so we can say that so 0 comma 0 now this is a situation of saddle point so this particular point z coordinate 0 comma 0 is a saddle point now let us evaluate the value of this at minus 1 comma minus 1 so let's do it now at minus 1 comma minus 1 we are gonna find out fxx into fyy minus fxy whole square so the value of this becomes 9 bracket open 4 minus 1 and this is equal to 27 so it is greater than 0 so once it is greater than 0 this and and one more point we i need to add here that fxx at minus 1 comma minus 1 is equal to minus 6 which is less than 0 so this indicates that so minus 1 comma minus 1 is the local maxima point So I hope this short tutorial on mathematical statistic was helpful to you guys. If yes, then please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share our videos and thank you so much for watching.